Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, and welcome to DC Fans United. So real quick, I have a shout out for the website OutrightGeekery.com. It's a cool website and they host my videos, so they're awesome. Alright, so starting off, um, we're going to talk about Thor's Hammer. If you don't know, Thor's Hammer is also known as Molnir and is the primary weapon of the hero Thor, who appears in Marvel Comics. It is depicted as his principal weapon, and it first appeared in Journey into Mystery, number 83. And that's from way back in 1962. The hammer was created by Stan Lee and designed by artists Jack Kirby and Joe Sinnott. Now, Thor's hammer itself has several enhancements. No living being may lift the hammer unless they are deemed worthy. With this restriction in place, very few characters have ever wielded the hammer, aside from Thor himself. There are, however, a couple of examples in Marvel Comics and in comics in general. So, starting off with a couple examples from Marvel, Beta Ray Bill used Molnir in The Mighty Thor number 337 from 1983, and Captain America has used Thor's hammer several times. The first time was in The Mighty Thor number 390 from 1988, and he also used it in Fear Itself number 7 from 2011, and most recently in Secret Empire number 10 from 2017. Now, aside from those Marvel characters, there have been some others, but we're going to focus on the two DC characters who have used the hammer. In my research, I've only been able to find two DC characters who have used the hammer, so if you're aware of any others, let me know down in the comments. Now, the first one who used Molnir was Wonder Woman, and she used it in Marvel vs. DC number 2 from 1996. So, in that story, Thor lost control of the hammer after his clash with Captain Marvel, and the hammer found its way to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was able to lift it easily, as she was deemed worthy, and it augmented her already tremendous power. But when it came time to do battle with Marvel's heroine, Storm, Wonder Woman decided to discard the hammer rather than fight with an unfair advantage. She probably regretted this decision a few seconds later because Storm blasted her with her powers and Wonder Woman lost the fight. So, the second one is really an iconic image. The JLA Avengers number 4 cover from 2003 is an image of a battered Superman wielding both Molnir and Captain America's shield. So, Superman is certainly honorable enough to wield Thor's hammer, but under ordinary circumstances, Superman would be unable to lift it. Luckily, Odin temporarily removed its enchantment. Superman found that out as he led the Avengers and the Justice League in a battle against the supervillain Corona. He was able to lift Molnir and able to deal a single crippling blow to the villain's machine. In the aftermath of the battle, however, Superman found himself unable to lift the hammer. Thor later revealed to his new friend that Odin had lifted the enchantment temporarily, sensing that the hammer was in good hands with Superman. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about Thor's hammer, let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. There's no other way to help this channel out greater than subscribing. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. End of line.